So we're on this country road bit in a moment. At the moment I'm in Olney. I'm driving towards Newport Pagnell, which is in the Milton Keynes area. And um, <coughs> what's interesting, this is the outskirts of Olney. It's not particularly too hard, it's just got to take your time get around the little roundabouts but as we get towards the countryside it gets a little bit trickier and people underestimate country roads they don't realize that when you have an accident on the country road is there's a good chance it's gonna be a serious accident and uh, no one's gonna come out and see you straight away it's not like a high street where people come up and see you so you might be there for a while and there's lots of hidden dangers you've got animals that are going to possibly crossing the roads, especially if you're doing it in the evenings when it's darker. And you've got tractors in the daytime that will be going around corners. And you've also got, um, as the weather conditions change towards autumn and winter, the, uh, the road changes as well. You can get wood on the roads, frost on the roads, ice on the roads. These are the things you've got to Start thinking about when you're driving on country roads, we're in summer, lovely, nice and sunny. But well, it's a sunny day, and even the sun has its own problems because at the moment it's nice. But uh, if you're driving through a country road, the sun is going to do a right turn, it's going to round about. Let's check the mirrors, let's see right. So the sun's going to be flicking through the trees, which is also a distraction, which can be dangerous. And then they've got national speed limit sign, which means it's a 60 mile an hour road. Now, 60 mile an hour doesn't mean it's a maximum speed. It's just a, a, a speed limit that's set there. So you've got to do a speed limit that's safe. Now you can see country roads are a bit more narrower, a bit more dangerous to them. They don't tend to have a path on the side, so people could be walking on the road. And um, you do get bricks at the side, and mud, bends. If you look ahead, are going to the left, so you know it's going to the left. And um, when well you do get little bridges, the road will narrow slightly. So you've got a bridge here, the road narrows on the left slightly, so if you're closer to the wall than you want to be. So you've got to be pretty precise with your positioning. You can't start letting it drift from one side of the left to the right of on your lane. And you've got one side of the left in the shade, and the right is in the sun. So if it, if it was a lot colder, the left side is going to be a bit frosty on the ground. Slow up yourself down for the, um, for the speed limit change. Because whenever you enter a village or you, you're getting close towards it, the speed limit is going to come down. And the important bit is you keep your speed limit under that because it's maximum speed, you're breaking the law otherwise. These little road signs that you see, see there, roads narrowing. Look up the road, check what's happening behind you, make sure it's clear to go. It's going to slow down for the traffic. So it pre-warns you that the road's narrowing. I'm just going to let them all go through. It's not worth trying to rush in. There's about five cars coming through in that yellow van. Just letting me go. That's nice of it. A little wave, that's worth it. Thank you. Like I say, whenever you go through villages, not always quiet. You've got a red truck on the right. He could end up reversing into a road and coming out. And beyond him is there's there's another truck. I think it's a, a bin truck collecting rubbish. He could try and pull out in front of you. So you've got to take your time, expect problems. <laughs> See what I mean? It's about to pull out, so I'm slowing down. Right, get through there. These are the things that you've got to watch out for. You've got to expect problems on the little villages. When a village ends, you'll see in the distance the national speed limit sign, which means 60 mile an hour maximum speed at that point. Doesn't it mean it's a, like a let's hit the gas and go as fast as we can. It's saying just you go a bit quicker, we'll be safe. You can see the road narrowed again. So you, you could go around the corner, there's a tractor coming towards you that's got a wide wheels on it, that's going to be in your road, in which case you have to slow down and go next to the grass mold.
box actually out in the daytime, running round. But if you, if you break hard on some of these bends, trying to avoid it, you're going to lose control, possibly a skid. So I'm down to 35 mile an hour for the bends. I'm hoping that quick video on country driving is going to help you. Just remember that um, when you first start going on them roads on your own, don't feel like you got to go fast. Go at a speed you feel safe with and keep remembering to get your speed down for the bends. Watch them signs. They're, they're, they're pre-warning you what's coming up. Okay? Be safe driving. Good luck with your driving lessons. Bye.